here. This is Question Girl with Olympus Reptiles. We're actually getting ready to do a special edition filming this week where you're going to see one of Matt's super secret projects that he's been working on for the last month or so. So, further ado, here's the star. I don't know about a star, I also know about how super secret this project is. You probably already noticed you're hearing the rattlesnake again. I'm sure some of you are going, really? I thought you were covering that thing up. There's a reason you're hearing it today, because today is what the show is about. We are going to move the snake out really quick, and then we have built a really neat custom cage that I think is going to be pretty cool for it, that we're going to move it into. So that's what this is about, to show off our new custom cage, and how this core of the reptile room is going to look. But first things first, got to remove the rattlesnakes. We've already got it unlocked. And again, if you watch when we do this, I don't put my fingers on the screen, we're sliding from here. And part of the problem is, this snake has kind of outgrown this type of cage. It can actually hit the screen, and I don't really much care for that. So, pull her out there. Woo! She just tried to strike off the hook. There we go, sweetie. She is probably one of the meanest Western Diamondbacks I've ever had the pleasure of working with. That's saying something. As you can see, that's why we don't put our fingers anywhere inside. Oh my god. <laughs> you can hear Question Girl talking about it. And we are sealed up. Alright guys, we'll be back in just a few minutes and you'll get to see the new cage and then we'll introduce the snake. So stay tuned. Everything moved around and we have the new cage in. Let's give you a quick tour of the new cage. You want to come on over here, camera girl. There's nothing in it. What this started life as was a display case for a retail store. Put the sideways there. So what we did is we thought the size was good. It already had the sliding front. It came with a uh, nice thick lock so that can slide on there. You have to turn the key to slide it on, but it'll slide all the way up there and hold this completely closed so nothing that can go through. Just to be overly cautious, we added a little bit of an extra seal there so there's Really, you can see there's no gap. Uh, it couldn't have got out of the gap anyway, but I wanted to make sure there was no gap. You can also see how easy these slide. Very, very easy. There's enough spot for you to get a hook on them and slide those drawers around. And then uh, what we've done, we took the shelf that was with it, which is just a solid piece of glass, and it's now the bottom. We have a heat mat attached right here. And you're probably thinking, holy crap, a heat mat straight on glass without being able to breathe that's going to burn the crap out of a snake. You would normally be right, as you can see over here, we are thermostat controlled, so we will not get too hot, and the probe is mounted underneath here where it can't move. We've attached this lip, and again we used oak, because we don't want to use anything that could be toxic. And this is just so when we put our substrate in there and we open it, substrate doesn't spill out. So this is just kind of a substrate dam. <laughs> Camera girl just about tripped there, which would have been really bad, because we have a temporary container holding a rattlesnake right now, so we're kind of glad she... She managed to keep her feet. Uh, so that's what's going on in here. We're going to finish setting this thing up. Oh, one quick thing. How do we get the cords? And if you look, right over here, we have our light controller. And we'll show you our lighting system here in a minute we get everything done. And what we did is we drilled a one and a, about a three quarter inch hole with a hole saw through there. And so then on the inside, we were able to run the cords out and a cord in. You see our probe or heat cord. We took a plastic panel and we attached that there to cover those to the holes. So it's just up with the cords. And on the outside, we put that light control box over the hole as well. So we covered the hole on both sides. So there's no escape route, because uh, you don't really want venom the snakes getting out for obvious reasons. So give us a few minutes, and then we'll show you this cage as it's set up. And then we'll introduce the snake, and you can kind of see the first time we put the snake in the cage and how it looks. Be right back in just a minute, guys. Let's take a little look inside the cage while it's still empty. Don't trip over that box question, girl. Yeah. So as you can see, we just wanted the basic, uh, pretty much white sand, like a white sandy beach. We do have LED lighting in here, so you can see it's a really nice, bright white light. They put a little skull for decorations in a water dish. And these guys aren't too high in humidity, being a western diamondback, but you still want to provide fresh water for everything, so we do. Uh, and that's our current setup. We'll probably add some more decorations as time goes. But for now, why don't we put a snake in there and just to kind of see how this goes. Alright, step back a little bit here. Remember, this is less important for you to get good footage and more important for you to not get in the way. I don't want to get you hurt. Or I don't want to get me hurt. I don't want to get no one to get hurt. <laughs> we'll 
basically, this is a snake that makes you practice every precaution. And worst case scenario, I even have my snake tongs with me today. So we are ready to deal with whatever. Give it another bolt down like that. Just can set that up. Just in case. Okay. Here we go. Usually it hooks pretty decent, actually. Come on. Crawl through the hook. And you do want to be about mid-body. I say that. This is the time it doesn't want to hook. It is really fired up right now. Where are we not going to hook? Come on. Hey, there we hook. There we hook. We'll put that thing in the cage stay back there. I'm going to take off the hook and actually get the cage closed. I probably will put some bigger latches on there at some point in time, too. Hey, guys, look, too. You don't hear the rattle as much in there, so that's kind of nice. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and make this thing safe, which is going to be to take our Comex lock Ooh. and lock it up. And you can see why it already left a big venom streak on the glass. Uh, that's going to be fun to clean later. Thanks. I like you, too, Snake. We're buddies, right? Maybe. Gosh, look how she pops. She is very, very pretty. We're just, good God. Yeah. She launches fast and hard. <laughs> she does. Which is why we want that lock. See, when that Comex is on there, you can see there's no gap going to be made. So we're perfectly safe. Put that up out the way there. And now, show you a few other features of the cage. We wanted to kind of be able to make this where it can be on display if we want to be. So we have the white lining. We can dim the white lighting down, if we so choose. Well, maybe. What happened there? So you can make it dimmer. It doesn't really show up as dim. It doesn't show up as dim. You have to just take our word for it. The light is dimming. That's not the only trick this thing has. We'll get a maximum brightness now. You can have a nightclub and change the color settings. It can go red. So if red's feeling the mood coming on. It's got some of an orange, a little bit more of an orange. Kind of cycle through what all it's able to do. Actually pops really good in there. The green takes all the red out of it. That doesn't show up so well. Blue is not a good display for it. Purple's kind of cool. Do you have kind a rat neat. that you want to calm before you envenomate it? I really like... <laughs> it's terrible, dear. I really like that color there. That looks really good. That's pretty cool. So you can do all sorts of different colors. And you can go back to white. We can set it to a flash mode if we want, or we'll just kind of cycle through for showing things off. Let's see your nightclub edition. Uh, we can turn flash off here, go back to white, put on a fade, where it just slowly fades from different color to different color. See that? Or are you shaking your head at that question, girl? It doesn't really show very well. Well, it has to show. The color is completely changing. Yeah, but it gets all funky on the camera. It gets all funky on the camera. Okay, we'll take that off. You can do smooth. It's just, I don't know what it does. It's like fade. Uh, and flash. We don't use that too often. Mostly what we'll use is just probably the white. We may use a few different colors depending on where we're at to make the snake really show off. But it really doesn't need much of the white LED lighting. Uh, well, thanks for watching. That's our, our red Western Diamondback. Again, it is not a Ruber. It is an Aatrox. If you had any doubt, just watch its attitude. I think you've seen it's definitely Aatrox. Uh, and we finally got it in the display cage we wanted to have it in. So thanks for watching. And what's this? That's a step closer to the cage. Oh, see, she's telling me a step closer to the cage. I'm trying to not make this thing bite the glass anymore than it already has. But uh, thanks for giving us a watch. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will talk to you later. Before we do that, no, question, I, I have questions. Do you have any questions? Question girl. Yes. Are you going to get a Google Home for Red? Because, I mean, at this point, you already have it on multi light settings. The only thing that you need is some dance music. She's giving me a hard time because I've been automating the house. Uh, I don't think Red needs a Google Home. I don't know if I could hear over all that rattling. Next question. Do we have a real question? No. No, just, just some sarcastic questions. I'd like to be snarky and smart-ass. Snarky. <laughs> don't be snarky. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you sometime soon.